this has been a very interesting journey to, to me because it's really following a new technology, following in innovation as it's born and being used in, in, in daily practice. And of course, I come from a time that we uh, have been using FL800 for a long time in black and white, and now moving to Glow 800 that gives us uh, the augmented reality of fluorescence um, onto uh, the white light image uh, that we do that we use to do surgery on. And this moving to augmented reality, real-time fluorescence uh, has, has really been an eye-opener. Now being able to see small vessels, to manipulate vessels while observing the fluorescence uh, has been a great experience. And if we take the journey of Glow 800 from the first module to the last version that I'm using now, um, there has been really a, a, a big step forward in terms of how is the fluorescence appearing in the captive view, how is fluorescence appearing in the binocular. The fluorescence now really appears to be within the blood vessel. And this is actually key because when we move blood vessels to look behind, to look behind the clipped aneurysm, to look for some perforators that maybe are obstructed by the clip, it's essential that the image is perfectly overlaid with the blood vessel and not floating next to it or above it. And the latest version of GLOW 800 actually has improved that uh, part a lot. The dosing, the dosing uh, of, of the indocine in green that the anesthetist is giving to the patient, we found that we can actually reduce the dose that we give uh, because the sensitivity uh, of the camera has improved a lot and the algorithm behind has improved a lot. So we can reduce the dose. Then there is some digital processing that has helped um, to really reduce the background noise. We still acquire FL800 and GLOW800. We still acquire both image quality. So the black and white image that we've been used to and now the augmented reality um, GLOW800 fluorescence. And I've done a lot of comparing between the two. And of course we were trusting FL800 for many years already. And I can see that there is an excellent correlation even when looking at small blood vessels. I can really say that GLOW 800 now is part of my uh, daily practice in cerebrovascular surgery where I can have excellent fluorescence overlaid on the white light image. And I feel when I compare what I see in the ocular uh, as image injection uh, compared to the overhead display or the screen of the microscope is that sometimes we have slightly better image quality on the screen. And I think moving on to exoscopic surgery with overhead display that have high resolution, 3D perception, will make it even better.